So I'm in a bit of a new location for today's video. Last week I decided I was going to have a big old clear out of clothes, of beauty stuff, of everything. And I decided I wanted to do the same thing for my beauty drawers. So I have a dressing table here in my bedroom and I've decided that I want to have a proper clear out so I'm going to have a good sort through. And I thought I would film it instead of just doing it on my own in the pleasure of my own bedroom. I thought why not do it with all of you guys watching? So I thought it would be useful to start with a little bit of a look at what my dressing table looks like. It's actually in my bedroom tour blog post, so I'll put that in the description box. But yeah, I have a little dressing table in my bedroom. It's actually an Ikea desk. It's the Mickey desk. Uh, it's designed for an office, but I use it as a dressing table. Um, so the desk has got one drawer. Um, so in there I actually use um, old glossy box boxes to separate out all my makeup. So as you can see, they're pretty full and I would like to get it down to just the basics of products that I actually use or products that I'm still kind of working my way through trying out. So it's got that drawer there. Then it's got a smaller drawer here, which is where I keep all my palettes and my eye pencils and liners and things. And then in that cupboard there is all of my hair stuff. I guess the best place to start is probably going to be with foundations. Um, so this is my current um, foundation collection. Uh, it's not actually too big. I see some people with absolutely huge foundation collections. I don't think mine's actually that big. But I do swap my foundation around depending on the time of year. Yeah, I like to have lots of different types and also lots of different shades because I'm a bit more tanned in the summer and obviously a bit paler in winter. So one of my favourite foundations is Estee Lauder Double Wear and I actually have two um, Estee Lauder Double Wears. I have the original Double Wear uh, which is a very, very um, thick, full coverage foundation they call it. Yeah, proper full coverage. I mean this bad boy is like, smooths out everything. So I tend to only wear this in winter because it is quite thick. Uh, I am shade desert beige um, but yeah I love this this is maybe my third bottle of it uh, yeah really really love it really great for winter don't really use it in the summer so I actually this summer bought Estee Lauder double wear nude their water fresh foundation which is a new foundation which is supposed to be lighter much more well much more fresh apparently um, I bought the same shade desert beige because I knew that that was my shade so I actually bought this online um, and I bought exactly the same shade and it's really nice it's much much lighter a much lighter coverage it goes on a lot easier um, Estee Lauder Double Wear does sort of once you've worked with it for a bit it stops and that's it you can't work with it anymore it kind of fixes where it is so those two are going to get kept the next foundation that I am a super big fan of, and it is actually quite a new foundation to my collection. I'm really lucky that I have it in two shades. Um, I was gifted it by the guys at It Cosmetics, and I'd read so much about this CC cream and everybody raving about it, and I thought, how good can it really be? Come on, it is so good. It is just, oh, it's so good. I can see why everybody raves about it. So um, it's a CC colour correcting full coverage cream. So it's not like a BB cream. It's got a lot more coverage to it. But it's such a kind of like dewy finish. It's really, really nice. Plus it's got uh, 50 SPF in it. And it's anti-aging. Which for me, I'm a little bit older. I do like things that have anti-aging in them. And so... My skin always looks amazing with this on. I've got this on today in the medium tan. Well worth a go. Definitely keeping, obviously, both of those. Those have got to stay. Um, and another new foundation, which is definitely staying, is the new Benefit Hello Happy. Got it the wrong way around. Hello Happy. So it is their Hello Happy um, Soft Blur Foundation and I have chosen shade number five. So um, this is described as a soft blur foundation, light to medium coverage, and it is, it's a really good summery 
foundation. Um, I really like it, it does blur your pores um, and just your skin generally but it doesn't completely block out all of my freckles again. It's a semi dewy finish. Um, you can build it up if you want to. It's lovely and light. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. So that has been added to my foundation collection now. So some of my other foundations which are slightly at risk of being dumped. So first up is, is this at risk? Oh, I don't know. I mean, how many foundations can one person have? So I'm going to start with this. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. So I went in store and I was colour matched. When I got home, I wasn't 100% happy with my colour matching and I think that's maybe where part of the problem is. I think it's too, a bit too orangey for me. Maybe it's a bit, bit too dark. And it just wasn't as magic as everybody made out. I mean, for the price, I wanted, you know, pores gone, everything, and in store she was like, oh look, when I dabble it, all your pores disappear, and I thought, oh, amazing, so I bought it, and then was so underwhelmed, however, recently I've rediscovered it in my drawer, and I have started using it again, so, and because of its price, I don't think that I can get rid of this, um, this is the shade medium which let's be honest sounds like it should be my shade and probably at the moment maybe why I like it more is because I've got a bit of colour that's going in the keep pile two more for the keep pile are my ordinary foundations now obviously everybody raves about the ordinary and there is a reason because it is super cheap like super cheap and um, these are are they five pounds I think the foundation so I have two here, um, so they're both the coverage foundation. Somewhere, I think in another box, might be in my office. I'm, office? Office, I've got the serum foundation. So the coverage foundation is a bit thicker. This was my first purchase. I purchased it online, tried to colour match myself, and it was a big mistake. I chose 2.1p um, with pink undertones and it was it too dark, too dark and orangey, and I was like, I'm not feeling this at all. Thankfully it was cheap, so it didn't matter. So the next purchase I made was Light Medium. It's a really good everyday foundation for the days when you want to put some makeup on, you want some nice coverage, but you don't want to be using like your best foundation. You know, does anybody have like best foundations? I do, the foundations that cost a bit more money. I am tempted to do that to just keep the one bottle of light. And then obviously I've got my serum foundation, uh, ordinary serum foundation, which is a lighter coverage. It's not as full coverage and it's much more of a dewy finish and that's in the same color. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just keep the one. Okay, um, so a couple of bottles which are actually going to be dumped is the Pure Bare It All 12 Hour 4 in 1 Skin Perfect Perfecting Foundation. I thought this foundation was the best thing in the entire world. And it was, it really was. And I wrote a blog post all about how much I loved it. It's very much like the It CC Cream. The only thing I found was, after a while of owning it, the foundation itself thickened in the bottle. So then when I would come to apply it, it just didn't move and blend the way it did when it was brand new. And I was quite disappointed by that, so I stopped using it. No, I think both of those are going in the bin. Okay, next up, a couple of foundations that I think I'm going to keep one and bin one, and that's to do with how old they are. So they are, uh, one is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear. 24 hour wear, comfort, retouch, free. So again, really loved it when I first got it. It's really, really light. Um, it's very pale, it's not my shade. And this is the problem sometimes when you get sent a sample and you haven't asked for it. Do you know the thing I don't like about it? The smell. It smells perfumey. And I don't know how I feel about that, about putting something quite perfumey on my skin. So it tends to not get used. And again, because I've got so many other foundations that I really, really like now, I think that one's going to have to go um, and again 
I can't remember when I got this and I'm a bit funny about keeping foundations too long so I think that Lancome you are going in the bin I'm afraid so next up is a Givenchy foundation. This is very similar to all the sort of BB and um, CC cream, sorry, that I've been showing you. This describes itself as a blurring foundation balm. And it is quite a lightweight uh, foundation. It's very dewy, um, it kind of smooths out your skin. It's got 15 SPF in it. And again, really, really nice, blurs the skin, nice sort of summery finish to it. My only question about this, I love it, is about how long I've had it. It's been open for a while and I think that I've had it two years. And there is a sort of time limit to makeup and I'm pretty sure that foundation you shouldn't keep beyond two years. So I think sadly, as much as I really love this, I think I'm going to have to get rid for that reason only. Otherwise, this would stay in my collection because it is one that I really, really like. Another one that's getting relegated is, oh hi, is this Lancome um, cushion foundation. <gasps> Do you remember when we were all like mad for a cushion foundation? And I have to say, when this arrived and I tried it out, I loved it. I thought it was the best thing since sliced bread because I liked the way you could like press on your foundation inside your little compact with your um, puff and then your foundation is under the cushion. This bad boy is like dried out. I don't even know why it's still in there. I think it's because you can buy a refill and maybe I thought I would buy myself a refill because I did love it, I did, but I'm just not into cushion foundations anymore. I'm not into that whole sponge on the face that you have to keep constantly cleaning. So this is being relegated to Le Bin. However, it was a really, really good foundation and I did actually put it in my foundation blog post that I wrote. So that's not to say that it wasn't good. Then I've got a couple of other Lancome products here. These are both um, uh, stick foundations. Um, so we've got beige porcelain and beige ivory. Um, chunky stick foundations screw off the top and they screw up. These are quite powdery. The finish is actually quite powdery and quite dry um, and neither of them are particularly my shade. However, what I liked them for was not that I do a huge amount of contouring but contouring so I could use a contour stick, dark one and then use these as the lighter and it was a really, really quick way to do some contouring. This one which is um, beige ivory, which is that one there, is... Um, is a yellow toned and this one um, beige porcelain is much more um, pinky so I think for my skin tone I'm better to keep the pinky one so I'm going to dump one keep one so let's move on to uh, just quickly highlighters I don't own a huge amount of highlighters my favourite ever highlighter was this one which is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Highlighting Stick. It's this really nice golden shade. So I used to use this all the time. It was the only one I used and um, all of the ones just fell by the wayside and didn't get used. And then I got sent this. Well actually I think I got it in a goodie bag at a benefit event. Benefit, what's up? My word. It's a good one. It's such a good one. So, um, yeah, same kind of thing. Uh, it's twist up. It's got a very, very similar colour. You know, kind of like bronzed, uh, beige colour. Uh, and then actually at the other end of uh, this Benefit one is a little dabble sponge so you can smooth out your sort of stripe that you've done across your um, face. But yeah, it's like... Super glistening, super glistening. I love it. It's the only one I use now. So it kind of, oh look I've wound it up too much now. So it kind of seems a bit pointless now to own two which are very similar colours when I like this one more. So sorry Revlon, photo ready, insta fix, you're going in the bin. But 
this is a good dupe for this one if you don't want to pay how much this one is. This one though, it lashy ages. I mean this Revlon one's like still going. I have had it quite a while, which is probably another reason why it probably should go in the bin. So yeah, primers wise, well I seem to have amassed a bit of a collection here of primers. Um, and do I use them all? No. This is what happens, isn't it? You end up with so many products, so it's time to get rid. The In Transit Camera Close-Up by This Work. So I got this in a glossy box. I, in fact, have two. One is open, one is not, and it's really good. I really, really like this product because it moisturises, it preps your skin, it primes everything, um, and it's really, really nice. I always feel like my skin feels hydrated, even when I then put makeup on top. So these are definitely being kept. I'm obviously holding back one unopened until I've emptied this one. Um, another one which is definitely staying, partly because it's like pretty much brand new and I've barely used any of it, is the Pixie Rose Flash Balm. So I got this in a beautiful set um, with some lipsticks, which I'll get to later. And it is an instant skin booster. So it is it describes it similar to the This Works product as a moisturiser, a primer and a mask. Um, it's supposed to make your skin like ta -da, look amazing. It comes out with sort of slightly pink colour. I love anything Pixie, so I never get rid of anything Pixie because I just really, really rate their products. They're really nice quality um, and they go a long way, so they last quite a while. And it has a nice smell, but not too strong a smell. So. That is staying in my collection. Um, another one which I really, really like, which is staying in my collection, is this, which is the Lancome La Base Pro Hydro Glow. Totally lost the correct lid for this. God knows where it is. Um, but this is lovely. This is a slightly pinky, ever so slightly iridescent uh, primer. Sits underneath your makeup and just, yeah, gives your skin that lovely glow. And it's really, really nice. And I've not had it too long. So that is staying in my collection. <laughs> Look at the size of this. It's like the tiniest bottle of Pore Professional. It's literally the tiniest bottle. So I love Pore Professional. I know lots of people do, it's one of their best selling products. Um, if you haven't tried it, it's kind of like a smooth cream that goes into all of your, um, like a, between a paste and a cream, and it goes into all of your pores to minimise your pores. This is the tiniest little travel size because my big bottle ran out ages ago and I only have this size. Ooh, so I'm going to have to buy another bottle soon. Not everybody likes this because they maybe find it drying. I don't think it is drying and I really, really like it for filling in the pores on my nose and a bit on my cheeks and on my chin. This is probably going to go in my little travel section. So that is staying. Also staying is a brand new bottle of professional matte rescue so this is a new product I mean new product to me um, it is um, a version of professional but it's a gel so it actually mattifies the skin blurs the pores and has an invisible finish I tried it today I quite like it I don't like it as much as professional um, but obviously it's a lovely big bottle, plenty to work my way through, so I may hold off rebuying Pore Professional and work my way through this instead. So happy to give it a go and see how it copes maybe with a whole day in London. Going in the bin, sadly, are two e.l.f. products. And this is mostly due to age, I think, like how long I've had them. So one is the hydrating under eye primer. I just don't really use it and I didn't really see it have that much of an effect. And I think it's a little bit old and I'm very wary about what I put under my eyes. So that's going in the bin. Sadly, so is this e.l.f. tone adjusting face primer. And I am a bit sad about this because this is actually really, really good. It's a purple toned primer. It has a similar texture to professional it comes out scarily purple like really scarily purple but it blends into the skin i mean it's not going to do it now because i've got foundation on my hand um but it blends into the skin and oh it feels lovely and silky and purple corrects any 
dullness in your skin. It helps your skin look brighter. So when they say colour correctors, peach um, corrects anything that's sort of bluey toned, like bags under your eyes. Purple brightens dull skin. Green tones down redness. So they're all colours that you use to correct. And I did really, really like this. I think that one's been relegated to the bin. Last up, two more um, primers. So these are new to my collection. They are from a Korean brand called Eborian. Um, I was sent a little parcel of a few bits to try and I must confess, I don't 100% know how to use each one. I don't know if you're just supposed to use one at a time. So for example, this one is a high definition radiance face cream. So it's describing itself as a CC cream, but different to the IT cosmetics, this is designed to go under your foundation. So this is kind of like replacing your uh, moisturizer as it were. Um, so you apply a fine layer on your face, just like your daily moisturizer. Um, it's supposed to boost radiance, protect and hydrate while also helping to unify and camouflage dehydration fine lines, which all just sounds wonderful, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, I've washed my hand off as well while I was waiting for my battery to charge. Um, so, yeah, it's a kind of um, white uh, cream, quite thick. And, yeah, I guess it, it leaves a little... It's, quite, it's so hard to see, isn't it, sometimes? Definitely ignore all the veins. I've got such veiny hands. Uh, definitely some radiance there. So I'm going to keep this because obviously I'm working my way through it to test it out so that I can possibly write about it if I like it. Or And the other one, the Pink Perfect Cream, is a Blur Secret Glow Skin Refining 4-in-1 Primer. So this, if I remember correctly, comes out pink. Yeah. This is less cream-like, this is more like um, a slight gel. It's creamy, but it's, it's a different texture to the other one. But I wouldn't say it was as noticeable as the white one. The white one definitely like preps your skin and, and sort of affects it as it were. So, But I'm still working my way through them, so these are staying because I'm obviously trying to try them out. So. I'm going to try and whiz through the rest of the stuff now because I am aware that this video is going to be like an hour long and nobody wants to hear me waffle for an hour. So really quickly, let's bash through powders and blushes. Okay, so powders wise, I have a little stack here and I already know what I'm getting rid of. So I'm going to get rid of this banana setting powder. It came in a glossy box. Not really my cup of tea. I don't like the fact that you open it and look. It just, it goes everywhere. And I can't be doing with that. Can't be doing with stuff that goes everywhere. Um, I guess if you're into like baking, you know, not cupcakes, <laughs> um, like baking as in the contouring trend, this would be really, really good. But it just winds me up that it goes everywhere. I'm also going to get rid of this e.l.f. powder for a similar reason in that it's a loose powder and I'm sick of it going everywhere in my drawer and I just never use it. So that's going in the bin. Uh, I've got this Rimmel Insta Mat, uh, Insta Fixer Mat, which as you can see, translucent powder, it has been very well loved. It uh, has been used, I've hit pan, which is always a good sign. Um, you put this on, just it's like a translucent powder basically, but I think it just is a little bit finer and it just um, is supposed to mattify your face and make you look perfect for your Instagram. <laughs> Am I going to keep this? Yes, because it's a good cheap little powder and obviously I really, really like it. I'm also going to keep this lovely jubbly powder which is the it bye bye pores press powder i love this because it's non-messy it don't go all over my drawer and you can obviously tell how much i don't like it when things go everywhere so you've got a powder section at the top a little puff underneath and this powder is very very fine so this is supposed to really really smooth out your skin and get rid of your pores this is the translucent shade Really, really like this. Team it with the It Cosmetic CC Cream for literally a, a, a flawless finish. HD flawless finish. But yeah, keeping that one. Now, I uh, can't decide about this one. Um, this may be affected by 
up here in a little pile is some Givenchy Beauty, which I got from a recent event that I went to. This powder, this one here, which is the Prism Libra, which is a four color powder. So it's got green, purple, pink, and white. And you basically, you swirl it together and use it to set your makeup and it's supposed to correct the color of your face. Really, really like this and I've actually had this one quite a while. So I think I'm gonna throw that one away because I think in this bag, yeah, is exactly the same powder. Um, but obviously this one is brand new. The colors are still much more um, pigmented and I think it's probably better to have a brand new one than an old one. So that Givenchy is going in that box to go from the new one. So that one's going there. So that's powders. So then moving on to blushes. I have quite a few blushes actually. Blushes and contours. Let's have a look at this little pile here. In a right mess. Okay, the best thing to do is just to grab the ones that I definitely know that I'm going to keep because there's a few that I definitely know. So first up is California. California. That's not even a song. Um, it's the California by Benefit. This is actually a little travel size which I got to go to Miami. Um, so this is probably going to go in my little travel size section. But it is a very corally toned summery blusher is absolutely lovely. I love it. I use it almost every single day. So this one is not going anywhere. I think once this travel size is gone, I'd like to upgrade to the full size. However, I think in winter this would be wrong. It's definitely a summer summer blusher. So in considering benefit products go a long way, they last a long time, I might not even need to upgrade this. This might do me for the rest of the summer. So that's staying. That's going in the yes pile. Also going in the yes pile is of course Benefit Hula, the holy grail of bronzers. Um, it's the only one I use, it's lovely and matte, it's got good pigmentation, a little goes a very very long way. I have hit pan, on, oh, hello. I have hit pan on mine, um, but it's been a long time coming to hit pan, um, so yeah totally recommend this if you haven't tried it where have you been um yeah hula 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 the one product i don't like is do the hula i did have a tube of that it has gone in my giveaway to friends and family charity pile um because it's not my cup of tea i like the powder version so that is staying also staying is benefit gold rush now when i got this i was a bit afraid Oh, hello, look, it's still got the brush in, which I always get rid of because I don't use them. When I first got this, I was a bit afraid because it is so gold and sparkly. And when I went to an event last week with Benefit, I did actually say to one of the girls, oh, I'm not sure what to do with it. What is it? Is it a highlighter? And she confirmed, no, it is a blusher. And the gold section is literally just the top layer. So you've got to get through the top layer. Um, so I think this looks like a nice more muted version of California so it's slightly um, peachy tinted it's not a red blusher and it's also not coral it's somewhere in the middle so I think this would be a good transition through to autumn blusher so I just need to get through the glittery bit at the top um, but it's definitely staying in my collection um, because well it's beautiful and I just I really really rate benefit as you can tell I was one of those people that always thought it was quite expensive and never bought it and then once you buy it you realize how long it lasts and actually it works out um, the same as how much sort of drugstore makeup you'll go through so it is actually worth it I think my personal opinion another little product which is definitely staying is a uh, benefit dandelion so this is a brightening powder oh look the magnet's got a hair clip stuck to it. This is a brightening powder. It looks, it can be used as a blusher as well, but it's a general put all over brightening powder, travel size, really good for taking traveling to give you that lovely glow. Took it to Miami, used it quite a lot, especially in the evening. So that is staying and going in my little travel section. Okay, things that are definitely going. Definitely going as much as I like it, is this Lancome Cushion Blush. It came with the Cushion Foundation, which obviously I've already got rid of. As you can see, it really has been used. And it was a lovely, corally, 
colour. Um, so yeah, press down on the cushion and it applies like a cream blush. Really liked it, uh, but it's just too old. It's too old now, so I'm biting the bullet and throwing it away. Another thing going in the bin is this Rimmel, um, oh hello, this Rimmel contour set. So it was a contour colour, a blush colour and a highlight colour and I used the contour colour a lot and the blush a bit but once again, not sure how old it is but also I've got nicer products that I want to use and this one sort of sat there being unloved. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to be brutal as you can tell because things just don't get used and I feel like it's wasteful and it may be wasteful to throw them away but I can't just leave them sat in a drawer. So it's going in the bin. Brutal. Done. I'm going to be a little bit brutal with my Benny tints. So I've got Cha Cha tint which is a slightly more corally colour. Um, the Benny tints you can use on your cheeks, on your lips, on the whole I tend to just use them on my cheek. I find that these do stay and in fact they have such staying power that if you don't blend it quick enough you do end up, you know if you put a line of it on your cheek, you end up with a line. So you've got to <laughs> go quickly blend it. I'm going to keep Cha Cha tint um, because this is yeah a slightly co more corally colour and I'm quite into that at the moment. I think I'm going to get rid of Benny tint. It's a bit red for me, not uh, my cup of tea. I've got uh, tan and freckles and a sort of more corally toned colours tend to suit me more so Benny Tint is not going in the bin because it's pretty much brand new it's going to go in my little whatever I do with it some stuff I sell some stuff I uh, give away to family charities whatnot so it'll go in my little box until I decide what I'm going to do with it two more things definitely going in the bin one is this this is an elf set it has been well loved I have used it quite a lot it is a little quad with a bronzer, a blusher, uh, two blushers, two bronzers in it. It's just going in the bin because when the writing starts to fade off the front, that always makes me think that maybe it's time for it to go in the bin. <laughs> that's my reasoning. So let's go in. Gone. Then we've got a um, Rimmel Radiance brick. Going to keep this. This is nice for a sort of little holiday glow. Um, you swirl all the colours together. That's staying. This little set is another contour set. This is sleek. Really light sleep makeup, actually. It's really affordable. You can get it in Superdrug. And I did, for a long time, really like this. But as you can see, it's barely been touched because I just own too much of the stuff. So, oh, well, I'm going to put that in the um, not sure what to do with pile. Along with this little elf blusher and highlighter simply because I just don't need another one um, and then this is a little Givenchy quad with um, a very pale pink um, blush colour and some contour colours it's just too light for me much too light so that is going and also I have had it a while so I'm not gonna give it to anybody I'm gonna chuck it in the bin so there we go so that's the end of the first part of my clearing out my beauty drawers video. It kind of lasted so long that I've had to split it into two because nobody can bear to sit through like two hours of me waffling about beauty. So the second half of the video will be coming where I'm going to clear out my mascaras and my eyebrow products and talk you through some of my brushes and some of the new bits that I'm adding into my collection. So see you next time.